Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can overcome anything with a good hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, the devil is doing what he do. Hallelujah. But we got to do what we got to do. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we were getting ready to get started, and you know how things work, cameras work, and they work just fine until they don't want to. But you know, then that's, that's, that's the devil doing, praise God. Amen. You know, I was looking in the book of Job, and the Bible said that on a day that God was pretty much holding a meeting with all the sons of God, amen, and he said right in the middle of the meeting, the devil shows up. And he asked him, said, wait a minute, what you doing? He said, I'm going to and fro, up and down in the earth. Amen. He want to see just what he can do. What I found out was that when God speaks a word of blessing Amen. in your life, Amen. how many of you know the devil here too? Yes, how many of you know, praise God, he's right there listening, amen? So when God said, I'm going to bless you, praise God, he said, how? Because I need to block that. He said, when? Because I need to be there. So in other words, praise God, when God starts be speaking, the devil is listening too. Yeah, man, so we, you know, we sit around and say, well, Lord, you know, we, we're getting by, you know, everything is working. We were just talking the other week about how things are just working out in these cameras and, you know, electronics and what the devil is listening to. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. But see, we got to be bold enough to say, you know, I trust God. And I believe him, amen. It's the devil, hallelujah, that no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper, amen. Hallelujah. So we want to condemn every work, amen, and everything that he has that come against the house of God today, praise God, amen. We're going to cancel, hallelujah, his reservation, amen. We're going we're gonna to count out his presence, yeah. praise God. Yeah. And we're going to go on and shout, hallelujah, anyhow, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on, Mary and Martha said, Jesus, even now, <laughs> even though he's been going all this time, you can still, yet yeah, still raise him up, amen. Even now, we're going to shout hallelujah. He just come to depress us. He just come to take you down, praise God, amen. He want to take back what God has already spoken in your life. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we thank God that let, we want to let him know, praise God, that we're going to stand up, amen, hallelujah, and proclaim the word of God, that God is yet still able to do what he said he was going to do, hallelujah. With one word, praise God, he created this whole world. Now, come on, devil, you can't do that, <laughs> amen, hallelujah. Look, and we, we thank God for another day and another opportunity to be here. It's a little bit overcast outside, but yet still, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to rejoice in it. He, if it was snowing, it's a day that the Lord has made. If the sun was burning outside, it's a day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. He tells us to rejoice in these days, praise God, because he made them, and he knows what's good for us. Amen. Hallelujah. The baby's saying, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all right today, amen. It's all right today, praise God. As my wife was saying, the first lady, amen, earlier, you know, we want to thank God for Mark Verge's presence. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know, let me tell you, now, 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 now this is a Bible, okay, so don't go hold me accountable. <laughs> but see, if they were to create a new grace, it would be called Mark Verge. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Oh, yes. No, it, it's, it's good that we have some wisdom and understanding, you know, in the house of God. Praise God. Amen. Um, Y'all at home, you can't feel it. And on the video, you really can't see it. Amen. But sometimes the presence, amen, makes a difference in the message. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you know, we start acting foolish, you could say, but, you know, she's going to tell me about this after service. <laughs> so we can't act foolish. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Let's, what are you going to do? We, go, we out here now. Amen. Have church, praise God. Come on, under, help me out, praise God. We're getting ready to go to the Lord in prayer, amen. And in doing so, we want you to be reminded, praise God, hallelujah, what we're here for. The Bible said we were created 
to worship him. Amen? Hallelujah. So in other words, he's going to do his part if we do our part. Hallelujah. You know, maybe there's something that got you down or something that's got you disturbed. Or, you know, he even goes as far as something that you don't understand. Hallelujah. God has a way today. Amen. To bring it to light. So, Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for this time, this service. We thank you for these, your people, those that have gathered, Father God, in your name. So we ask that you come now, Lord, stretch out your hand on this land. Father God, we ask that you heal, that's that you deliver and set free, Father God, which is our prayer right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to go into the hospital today. Lord, in Jesus' name, oh, the work that needs to be done. Set free, Father God, make whole right now, which is our prayer. Go out into the homes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Straighten it out. Straighten it out, Lord, that we can be family. Love one another. Come and go, Father God. Sit down and eat, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, that are lost this morning, Father God, we ask you, Lord, send your grace, send your mercy, send your healing hand, Father God, that may lay it on the man, praise God, and raise them up from the bed of affliction. Father God, we love you. And we testify and we shout to the highest mountain, Lord, we love you. So we ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, come now, Lord, tend to our knees. And we know, Father God, that your presence is here right now with us. So as we reach out, Father God, reach down right now and fulfill the needs of your people, Father God, as only you can. Father God, I believe that whatever we want is according to your will, the words that you're going to give it. So, Lord, pour it out right now in the name of Jesus. Touch bodies and heal right now as only you can. Touch minds, Father God, and restore as only you can. Touch hearts, Father God, as we search and look after and look forward towards you. And, Lord, we ask you right now in this place, hallelujah, go out in this land in the name of Jesus. Heal, deliver, and set free is our cry today. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Come on, let every heart say amen. Say amen again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we've been having instances, praise God, of, I won't say a sudden, amen, but there have been several deaths, and a lot of them were in the family. Some were close to the family, praise God. Hallelujah. And, and, and you know, I, I imagine by now, praise God, people begin to worry Amen. But God is yet still able to bring us out. He's going to bring us through. Amen. In other words, why, Lord? Hallelujah. Why, Lord? But God is able to. He has his reason. And I believe today, praise God, if we accept God, not knowing, praise God, just what he has in store, God's going to open the windows of heaven. He said he's going to pull out a blessing that we don't have room enough to receive. But we're going to have to receive him, amen, knowing that God has it in control. Amen? Hallelujah. So we just heard uh, uh, just the other day of um, my wife's nephew, his first wife, passed away. Amen. You know, young people. Yeah, but Deke is your nephew. <laughs> okay. Amen. But his first wife passed away. Amen. And, um, but we want to pray, praise God, that God sends peace to the family. You know, she had a son that she left. A young man, amen, but God is just still able to do just what he said he was going to do. And, and, and people are complaining today, praise God, the devil wants to steal their health, amen, so there's a lot of health issues going on. So, you know, we visit the hospitals and, and you see what you're supposed to see in the hospital, sick people, amen. But the thing is, praise God, God is able to do so. He's able to heal. He's able to deliver. And he's able to set free. How many of you agree, praise God, that God is able? Amen. Hallelujah. I believe if we can all get on one accord, amen, and pray, praise God, according to God's will, that God is going to do what he said he was going to do. He said he's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that we won't have room enough to receive. Amen. Amen. But today, praise God, we want to visit the hospitals in spirit today. Amen. We want to visit those places, praise God, where the sick and the lame and the halted and the maimed. 
you know, they hang out here. I mean, we want to sit in God's presence because God can speak a word, amen, from right here, man. That can go into each and every individual home, praise God, in the hospitals, amen. And I, I believe, praise God, he's going to have a clearance sale one day, and he's going to clear it out. And we can stand on and believe it that God is able to do just what he said he's going to do, amen. Help me if you would today. Turn me to the book of John, the fifth chapter. To the book of John, the fifth chapter, praise God, amen. Hallelujah. Book of John, verses 1 through 8. Amen. The book of John, verses 1 through 8. And listen, huh? I, have a, I have a deadline to turn my sermons in, you know, Andre, so he can post them. And, and sometimes, you know, he gets a, well, I get a little ahead of myself. Well, shit, that's how I get behind. But um, when I told him the book of John, praise God, chapter 5, verses 1 through 8, I neglected to put the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 17. Amen? I neglected the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 17. Well, verse 17. Amen? Is that all right? Amen. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying to be obedient. You know? I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to do and turn it in. Amen? But um, as she began to read, praise God, we wanted to ask you that you... Um, like I said, let our spirit today go into the hospitals. Amen. Because there's a need, praise God. Folks that are laying there, been laying there. We had a, uh, she had a nephew that passed away just recently. Uh, I believe he had been um, in the hospital for over, in a coma for almost three years. Amen. But how many know God is able this morning? Amen. Hey, praise God. So the book of John, chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. In the book of Luke, chapter 5, verse 17. Amen. And as she began to read, we ask that you lend an ear. Amen. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. Uh-huh. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Mm. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible said a certain man was there, which had an infirmity 38 years. Hallelujah. It, it didn't say he was 38 years old. It's that he had been sick for over 38 years. Amen. I, I, I don't know about you, but I'll be tired of that by now. In, in other words, I'll be praying for that to go away. Amen. Yeah, I'll be constantly praying, Lord, why 38 long years that you leave me in here Praise God, suffering through it. And it put me in the minds, praise God, like I said, in the hospitals, because we hear about the sickness and death and disease that's going on. And I thought, I said, well, Lord, you know, in the hospitals, praise God, there are people who have been there for this amount of time, some like that amount of time, some come and some go, praise God. But, you know, thank God there's a meeting place, praise God, where you can go, amen, and to get help. But I want to tell you today that, praise God, there's a place, amen, that's not on the map, amen. There's a praise, praise God, that, that's not on a building, amen. There's a place that you can go today. Hallelujah. That you can reach out to him as he's walked by. Amen. And you find the Bible said that he's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. Amen. There's a place that you can go. It's called Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And all you have to do is go out, praise God, and stretch out your hand to him. And he's there, praise God, waiting for you to come along. So I don't care if it's been one day. 
two days, 38 years, praise God. God is yet still able to do what he said he was going to do. All it takes is a word, praise God. And in that word, praise God, God can change your life situation. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible say, praise God, in the first verse, he said, after this, after what, praise God, amen? Jesus. He said, after Jesus has just performed his first and his second miracle. Amen. Amen. He said, in, in other words, praise God, he was a rookie in the game. He, he just got to the point, praise God, and, and not too many people know about Jesus, that he had the power to heal according to his will and according to his word. Somebody in those, praise God, just say, I need a healing today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Oh, Lord. somebody yes, need Lord. a healing, praise God. So God. the Bible Hallelujah. said it was after this, yes, so they Lord. kept track of him, praise God. He said, Jesus went to the feast, amen. And the Bible said to tell you that there were three feasts during that year. And they didn't say exactly which one. But in other words, praise God, whatever you need, he was there for it. Come on, somebody needs some help today, amen. In other words, praise God, if we had the title of this message today. He said, why have we been just lying here? Amen. They got some folks who just laying there, praise God. He can't figure out, Lord, what's wrong. The doctors don't know. Amen. He come in and tell you this today, praise God, and there's something else tomorrow. And we heard of a story recently, praise God, where the doctor came in and said, lady was recovering just fine. And the next thing you know, we were going to her funeral. Hallelujah. So in the practical world, praise God, we were discussing this thing. And the Bible said his degree said it's a license to practice medicine. Amen. Nobody ever said he was an expert at it. But we got an expert today, praise God. Hallelujah. That can step in and take his place. We got an expert, praise God, that you can go to. And he won't ever give you a wrong diagnosis. We got an expert, praise God, that he can overcome anything that ever happened to you, praise God. Amen. How many of you know, praise God, folks show up at the hospital every day, amen, looking for doctors to heal them, amen, when the healer is already there. Jesus, praise God, came across a man, praise God, at the pool of Bethesda. And, and I imagine, praise God, when he walked through that gate, you know, the Bible said it's a gate, praise God, where they brought sheep for sacrifices. And wouldn't you know the Lamb of God showed up at this gate, amen? He said, but when he walked in, praise God, it wasn't a sacrifice that we know. Hallelujah. He said his, his sacrifice was going to be on the cross so that we can be saved, so we can be free, so we can be healed according to his word. Somebody need a healing today, praise God. Come on, you need to start claiming it. See, the devil wants you to know, praise God, if you claim it, I'm going to take it. But claim it anyway, amen. Say, devil, take this. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that when he walked through that gate, praise God, his heart was filled with compassion. Amen. Because every time he looked around, all he could see was sick people. Amen. And when we mentioned it earlier, praise God, I said, well, if you go into the hospital, what else do you expect to see other than sick people? So in other words, praise God, Lord, come. In Jesus' name. Father, come now, praise God, according to your word, amen. So Jesus entered that gate, praise God. Those folks in the hospital need to realize that God has entered into a gate, praise God. And he's about to change this situation. Hallelujah. So when Jesus walked in, the Bible said he saw this man, amen. Now what made him see just that one man? Hallelujah. I don't know. But I want you to know, praise God, I'll be sitting here right now under this message and say, Lord, see me. See me, Lord. Hallelujah. Not that I don't want my sister to be healed. Not that I don't want my brother to be healed. But I believe that if you work your works in me, it's going to stand, praise God, as a message to my brothers and my sisters that God healed me and he could heal you and he could heal you. Come on, somebody say, Lord, see me. So Jesus looked at him, and he realized, praise God, that this man has been here over 38 years waiting, waiting, praise God. How many of you know, praise God, like most of us, we need to see a sign before we believe. And if you don't believe me, look back at the previous chapter, praise God. And Jesus said, this is the kind that need to be assigned first before they believe the word of God. Hallelujah. So we had people sitting there waiting on that sign, praise God, because they said that at a certain time, hallelujah, at a certain time, he said the angels came down 
and they trouble the water. So what I'm saying is for 38 years, he missed the sign of God showing up, praise God, for 38 years that he was coming and he was going, praise God, but he hadn't believed the word of God yet. Hallelujah. What I'm saying is for 38 years, he laid there looking for God to show up when God was already there. We put too much in the looking for signs. The Bible said these signs shall follow you. This shall follow you. What I'm saying is I've done this before and I can do it again. Pay attention to the sign. So he said he looked at the man and the man was just laying there. Hallelujah, going through all kinds of pain. He heard all kinds of moans and groaning coming from the porches, praise God. And I imagine he got concerned, praise God. He said, because see, I don't know about the world. The world has a tendency to look and see. What they were looking at is that the Jews, the people of God, were laying in five porches, suffering. The people of God, praise God, was going through. And the world was saying, if that's the kind of God and allow that, I don't want to be part of it. But Jesus came to make a difference in this time. He said when he walked through that gate, this was going to be the final sacrifice. So he looked at that man suffering, praise God. Hallelujah. And he didn't ask him any questions. Like, you've been here 38 years? Anybody's tried to help you? But I, I need to drop something in here for those folks that help, to those folks that take care of sick folk, those folks that come in and go, praise God, and, and attend to their health. So when we were looking at these people on these porches, praise God, the word came to me, praise God, that we ignore and we were not paying attention. So there are some folks, amen, that had to help these people daily. So folks were coming in. This one was hurting. That one was dying. That one was leaving. There are some folks that God had ordained to come in, praise God, to help out in situations. So today we need to stop and when we look at that message, we need to see that God is a provider even to those. So right now, praise God, those folks, praise God, we want to pray, amen, for those that are coming and going in the hospitals, those that are coming and going in the homes, those that are looking and seeing after sick people right now. We want to lift them up that God continue to bless them. Mm. So he looked at this man. He said, how long? Hallelujah, it resonated in his soul, amen. But I want you to know, praise God, that in those five porches, the Bible said they had all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. So if we were here today, praise God, somebody said dementia was on that porch. Somebody said Alzheimer's was on that porch. Somebody said cancer was on that porch. Somebody said diabetes was on that porch. Somebody said high blood pressure was on that porch. So when he came in that gate, praise God, the final sacrifice, amen, the sacrificial lamb, he came in, praise God, to heal, to set up, deliver, and to set free, amen. So when he looked at that, that man, he said, Lord, wilt thou be made whole? How many need to be healed today? We just call diabetes. We just call cancer. We just call Alzheimer's. We just call dementia. She said, will thou be made whole? If you're having heart trouble today, heart trouble is on that porch. If you're having swelling in your ankle and your feet, it's on that porch. If you're having eye trouble, it's on that porch. But he said, will thou be made whole? Or do you want to just lay here? Hallelujah, and see what's going to happen. So he grabbed the man by his hand, praise God, after he gave him a weak excuse about folks running out ahead of him, cutting him off, praise God. Wouldn't let him get to the water, amen. But I came to tell you, praise God. Hallelujah, 
when Jesus showed up, the need for excuses went away. So you're looking for that water. You're looking for that sign. Hallelujah. But how many of you know this thing is about the power of God? Somebody say power. Turn with me with Luke, praise God. The fifth chapter, verse 17. See, man will try to make power with his singing. He gonna try to make power with his music. He gonna try to make power, praise God, with speaking. But if the power of God isn't there, it's not gonna work. Somebody shout power. Power. And Luke 5 said, come on. And it came to pass. Yes. On a certain day. Yes. As he was teaching mm -hmm. that there were Pharisees. Oh. And doctors of the law sitting by, and it says, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and come on. Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And the power of the Lord Hallelujah. was present to heal them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank You're you. You're looking Lord. for it, and it's already there. Jesus, Jesus. You need Jesus. to start claiming it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, somebody say, I'm healed. I'm healed. Say, Hallelujah. I'm healed, praise God. Hallelujah. This thing that's been holding me down, Hallelujah. I'm healed. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That bed yes, that Lord. I've been carrying, that bed that carried me, he said, I'm going to be carrying it. Yes, Amen. Yes, he said, I'm Lord. healed. Hallelujah. Somebody need to take hold of the word of God today. Somebody need to proclaim Hallelujah. it, praise God, Thank that God you. is there Hallelujah. healing. He said, wilt thou? Be made whole. Yes, Lord. Do you want to yes, be well? Do you want to praise God? Hallelujah. Be a part of the history you, of what God is doing right yes, here. Yes, Lord. Don't let him waste the sacrifice. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Don't let him waste the sacrifice. Glory, Somebody glory, know to be glory. healed this Hallelujah. day under the power of this word. He said the power was there to heal. Yes, Lord. All he Hallelujah. had to do was speak it. All he had to do was show up. Yes, so 38 Lord. years, this man laid at that pond, praise God, looking to do what God to do, what he'd already done before. All he had to do was receive it. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody need to receive a word today, amen. Somebody need to receive his presence, praise God. Somebody come and say, I'm going to look to the hill for what cometh my help. All my help cometh from the Lord, praise God. Hallelujah. So in other words, praise God, we overlooking him, but he's not overlooking us. Hallelujah. Why are we going to continue to lay there? looking for him and he's already showed up glory, why are we going to turn the call on and praise Jesus. god when god has already demonstrated that he's able to do he said these signs Hallelujah. are going to follow them yes lord. that believe yes, so in other words do we have any believers in here hallelujah hallelujah do we have any believers in here hallelujah the things yes, that have been holding you that thing that's been binding you, that thing that's been keeping you down, all I want to say is look back. Hallelujah. Ha! Ah, look back, praise glory, God. Glory, the signs glory. are following you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And he even went as far as to say, because they, these guys are going to lay hands on the sick. And then the sick is going to be recovered. I want you to know, praise God, not like that man, amen. You're going to look for somebody to go up and down the aisles looking to touch us. Lay your hands on yourself right now and say, I'm healed. Hallelujah, yes. He said, lay hands on the sick Hallelujah. and they will recover. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Jesus asked him, Thank you, Lord. Will thou be made whole? Yes, Lord. Yes, Amen. So he sent his word, and that word had accomplished everything it set out to do. Hallelujah. Why have we been just lying here, amen, when the presence of God has already been here? Hallelujah. So these, this, this one, man, I don't know if anybody have been there longer, I imagine a whole bunch of them been there shorter. But they were just laying there. Amen. Waiting for God to do what he's already done. That's why he said the signs are going to follow you. He's already done them. Ah, man, I tell you. Hmm. 
So we need to start at faith this morning, amen? And let God do what he does. You know, the power to heal is there. And see, the thing is, we, we found out a long time ago, and I came across this word, and it's, it's only, it's only, it only works through demonstration. So, I'm gonna ask my wife if she would, amen? See, a lot of times, we take God's word on us, and we often, probably, amen, neglect to take it in us, amen? amen? So it's that word in us, yes, it's gonna make a difference. And, and so when I say I mean to make a difference, I drink, I did this, it's all right. So, go ahead. Hallelujah. Now, that's on you. And that's in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, can we understand that man is going to get you excited with the shouting? He's going to get you excited with the preaching? He's going to get you excited with what's going on around him. But it's a difference when the Word of God is in you instead of on you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Teach me. Somebody said, teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, that I may know. And it's only through knowing, praise God, that I'm able to take advantage of what God has for me. Mm. It's all right. It's all right, mother. You, you bring it out. A grace call, my virgin. <laughs> you bring it out. Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus was saying, don't worry about that water. It's just a symbol. Amen. Don't worry about it. He said, but it's what you get in you, what you believe, and what you have faith in that's going to make the difference in your life. Ah. Oh, Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for your time, for your presence, for your grace, and for your mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. If God wasn't a forgiving God, this world wouldn't even be here, would it? Amen. Hallelujah, maybe. Yeah, absolutely right. So we thank God today for his message. We thank him for his word. And we thank him for his understanding, praise God, for looking down on us, amen, and making that ultimate sacrifice, praise God, that we will be able, amen, to walk on in health, amen, good health, freedom, and understanding, amen. Hallelujah. And they said that no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. So we thank God again today, and we thank him for the visitation. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. Come on, praise God. I'm you got it. Turn it off. All right, now. You don't need that, she said. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My God. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> you know it. If nobody don't pray for me, I know these people pray for me. All right now. Hallelujah. Oh. Five years. Clear. 
Come on now, y'all gotta come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Oh, my goodness. Take it away. Take it away. Come on now. <laughs> Ooh, yes, Lord. Work on it. Work on me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for you, Mother, for the visitation. Amen. Thank God for his presence. Get it in you. Yes, Lord. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise somebody. Oh, look at that. Amen. The Lord is worthy to be praised. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Somebody need to get a shout right there, praise God. You need to shout for yourself one time. See, you need, you need to be that man in the middle that said, if it happened to them, it could happen to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. God is working. He's working. And he said the message is right on time, amen, that he sent the word. And that was a word for confirmation. Hallelujah. See, see, see that man sat them 38 years, so he had to bring out the word of God. So sometimes you got to go five years, praise God, amen, for the word of God to be revealed, to let the world know, praise God, that these are the kind of people that God, my God, is serving, amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We thank God today, amen. We, we thank God, praise God. That, that's, that's beyond words, amen. So healing in his hand. He got power in his hand. He got deliverance in his hand. Amen. So we thank God for another chance today, another time to be here. Um, uh, we, let me, just a second, we, we had, um, when we started, when God started Word of Restoration Ministries, we were, we were going through a name search. And, and, and it came up, it said Word of Restoration Ministries. Amen. So in other words, a ministry resides in churches. It resides in the land. So in other words, we never said it was going to be Word of Restoration Church. So we're not limited. We're not tied down, amen, by limitations in space. So in other words, praise God. See, folks are getting healed here. Folks are getting healed there. And folks are getting healed there because, praise God, the ministry, the work of God is going forth. Amen. So we're not limiting ourselves to be a church building. Amen. We are ministry of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God today. Amen. For some recognition and understanding of who God is and what he's doing in our lives. Amen. So come on. If you stand to your feet, we're we'll getting ready to leave. Amen. We're going to go home. And I know, I know football season. Folks watching football. <laughs> Amen. But you know, the, the biggest game I know of, praise God, hadn't happened yet. But God is going to do some things in our lives. Amen. I think from this day, this message, you see, the word went forth and the testimony came out attesting to the word of God. 
Hallelujah. Devil can't do nothing about that. He heard, he was listening, he going to the court. But that's what he heard. That devil, you can't stop God. So what I'm saying is, praise God, if you're on the edge of anything, hallelujah, that's not right in your life, if you own the verge, praise God, or even taking your life, if, if you figure and say, Lord, you know, if things are going to ever work out, maybe for you, not today, but God said it happened, not happened yet. And he's working on it, and he's working it out, amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, tell the Lord thank you. Listen, now to him that's able to do, exceeding abundantly, above all we can ask for a thing, according to the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. All I want you to do is look back and call on him. Come on, praise God, and consider yourself dismissed. Amen? Hallelujah. Take me the victory.